Hi everyone, forecast update for you as of, uh, where are we? Tuesday, that's right, Tuesday afternoon. Uh, back here in sunny Wombourne, returned from Wales for a few days. Uh, and the sun is shining, and boy is it warm here. We're 25 degrees this afternoon, and uh, we've got 28 degrees across southeastern parts of England. Anyway, just wanted to take you through my ideas of how I see the weather developing over the next week or so. I know many of you still got lots and lots of jobs to be doing, so just wanted to take you through a few things. These are the charts from westwind.ch. These are the Met Office charts. Uh, time up here, top left-hand corner. This is for midday on Wednesday. Uh, low pressure looks starting to uh, take over things. If we'd looked at this time last week still got a big trough over the east of Europe but now it's out towards the west that we're seeing low pressure developing I'll um, do a bit more explaining in a video uh, over the next day or so as to why things are, are, are swapping around but suffice to say jet stream is developing across the Atlantic it's going to bring us a westerly jet through the British Isles not particularly very strong but it's going to be making things more unsettled now into Thursday fronts push their way eastwards these fronts bringing out breaks of rain but uh, although there may be an odd heavier thundery burst here and there it's not that rainfall that um, is going to be most persistent. I think it's going to be the weekend before things turn more unsettled. And uh, there's the forecast of Friday, ridge of high pressure building through, only a very weak ridge, it's this low that's still controlling things out here in the Atlantic and we now need to be watching out as well for any remnants of tropical storms coming into the southern Atlantic particularly with the jet stream established here just to make sure that uh, none are picked up and flung across the Atlantic having a dramatic impact on our weather. So where are we? What do we want? Uh, weather online where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There we are. Those are the charts from uh, Weather Online. Top left hand corner shows us the times. You can get these by going to expert charts at weatheronline.co.uk. And uh, what these are showing for Tuesday afternoon is picking up on the rain clearing away from Scotland. Some really heavy rain there Tuesday afternoon. Um, clearing up, sorry, Tuesday morning, and it's now clearing away. One or two showers down these eastern coasts, but we reach a high pressure building for the west, just improving conditions. Fresher weather now pushing into the west all the time. Now, through Wednesday, that ridge of high pressure is still there. I think generally a fair day for many on Wednesday. Just watching this zone here across the East Midlands, parts of East Anglia, perhaps South East England too. This is a thundery area. This is the old cold front. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's going to move its way eastwards destabilize the atmosphere generate thunderstorms as it goes but look what's happening out to the west low pressures moving in this is the harbinger really of stuff that's going to be developing during the weekend in it comes pushes a front eastwards look during the course of thursday taking out breaks of rain with it most of that rain concentrated across western scotland and down through the ear through the southeastern corners of england could be five or so mil here from these outbreaks of rain little though through the midlands and across northeast england the mountains serving to disrupt the rainfall there that then clears away slowly eastwards look how though we uh, have a little wave form across the southeast which could just bring some heavier bursts of rain here Thursday afternoon into Thursday evening. Rain eventually clears northern Scotland overnight into Friday and then we're dry then for the start of Friday with quite a bright start. I think there will be some showers around western coast but generally Friday looks as if it'll be dry fairly cloudy because the air mass is fairly moist and then into the weekend well things start to change. Saturday Difficult to put details on it, but it does look as if showers get going to the north and the west, some of them quite heavy. Scattered showers elsewhere, not expecting much from those. But then low pressure moves in, look, into Sunday. This is the position as of Sunday. This low, the position of this low is swapping and changing from model run to model run just at the moment. But it's going to be somewhere near the British Isles, and I think Sunday and also Monday are the unsettled days of the weekend. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, probably Tuesday the low clears into the North Sea. Focus for the showers is northern and eastern parts of the country. Further west becomes drier. The flow goes into the northwest with a ridge of high pressure look here building out towards the west. Now then, question I've got at the moment is, is this ridge going to build sufficiently far eastwards and be maintained for sufficiently long for us to get a dry spell of weather from the middle of next week into the following weekend? I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what's going to happen with this. I need to look at it. But it could be from about Wednesday of next week through till the end of the week, perhaps even the Saturday and the Sunday, we could see a drier spell of weather. Low confidence in that just at the moment. But of course, I'll keep you informed uh, and try and keep you up to date as to what's happening. So keep the sun shining. Enjoy the next few days. And thank you for watching.